Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. So we found the I value to be 1.56 times 10 to the power of 10. So you now want to get back to K1. So we know IF, we know BF, we just need to know what D is. So D is now, if I redraw our beam and slab, So we're going to have some type of stirrups in our beam and we're going to have reinforcing bars, something like that. Okay, so D is the distance from the top to the centroid of the reinforcing bars. All right, so little d is now this distance here. So we need to know that distance. Now in the slab videos, we found that the cover so C, the cover was 25 millimeters. We're using, we're going to assume to be using N12 stirrup bars. So they're 12 mils. And we need to know what bars we're using down here. Now, because we don't know just yet, we have no idea. That's the whole point of these videos is to design them. It doesn't really matter which ones we use, but we're just going to assume we're using N32s down here. Now, this might be a little bit tricky why I'm choosing N32s. Uh, you could choose N28s, whatever you really want. It's not going to really matter too much. Um, for this part of the calculation, but you just need to have some type of bars down there. So we're just going to assume it's N32s. Once again, it doesn't really matter too much. You could choose N20s, N24s, N28s, N32s, N36s. It doesn't. It won't really impact this calculation too much. Okay. So that means that our D, or rather this distance here, is going to be the cover plus the diameter of the stirrups plus the radius of a bar. Okay, so if we work that distance out, we would get the cover is 25 plus the uh, diameter of a stirrups would be 12 plus the radius of this N32 bar. So it's going to be.